So we finally made it here to Harvard Union. Oh, oh, fucking Wednesday. All right. How are we gonna do this? Definitely a change of scenery here. This is not hack. This is now Messiah. Harvard. We're at Harvard right now. Business law. Yeah, I'm studying to become a lawyer. Uh, I'm gonna lawyer some things. My lawyerings are gonna be coming handy. Yeah, we finally made it out here. So what's up, guys? We. Are... 2018 Lunkers. There it is. Is this good, dude? The, the... I reserve the shit. Golden Gate. Did I run right into this guy while obviously drinking a beer? Dude, just throw in the, with the gang and buy that house. Are you sure that's the same house? Um, yeah. Probably not. It's not styled the same way. Uh, I literally saw like a 12 inch trap and took this more and it didn't get hooked. Damn. Yeah, dude, it sucks. It was like actually kind of decent. Exactly like that eagle. I question what the fuck happened. <laughs> all the time I fell asleep from now. I why did it like hit my head on the headboard in the middle of the night? <laughs> but I just like got my feet are hanging off the edge of the bed. Oh your head's bad. <laughs> At a 90 degree angle. <laughs> Abandoned jungle tunnel. Kaiser or whatever. Wait, is this McCormick already? Just buy an old Wrangler and do a Cummins 4BT swap. I think this is McCormick. Wait, no, no, this is going to be McCormick already. That's our only one. So here is the oh, next Derek, fishing take spot. Take the right side. Next fishing spot. Take the right side, Derek. Yo, look at how big the brick are for their boats. Derek. Yeah. So, uh. Going to <laughs> okay. I have a broken ankle. It was a good trip. Alright, let's go. I would consider that a very successful trip. Alright, be ready for the races. On Friday? Yeah. It's gonna be. What? I bought a cheap exhaust. It's not really name brand for my Ram. It's a five inch street pipe exhaust kit. And there it is. I fully painted it black before I put it on. It did not come this way. And man, does it sound and look good. But here's the thing. You want to avoid these cheap kits. And here's why. For one, the pipes will come bent. They came bent in multiple places on different pipes and even the flange that connects to the turbo where you don't want it to leak because then it could just leak into the cab and everything so that had to be corrected and other parts had to be expanded to actually be able to fit together number two the downpipe should have been two pieces when it was only one so two, one of two options had to happen either the pipe had to be cut and welded again or the cross member had to be dropped so it's just not worth it for that reason alone then reason number three a part of a pipe that should have been flanged was not so how do you even connect those two pieces together there was just nothing given to be able to do that so it had to be welded together so that kind of sucks so it was kind of set up there was an extra part that was right but that's if it, this was an eight foot long bed or a mega cab or something so of which this is not so it was not set up for this truck which is Basically what most people have, I'd say most consumers have the crew cab short bed. So I don't understand why they would do that to people. So that is why it's just not worth cheaping on the exhaust. You know, it's probably about 50 to to $100 cheaper. But I mean, you also got a lot of warranty and you have a good customer service with these companies opposed to going to a cheap place where they don't even 
they don't even offer customer you don't even know where the business is that usually it's just online they make it they ship it to you and they put like a label on it calling it a brand but it's not really worth it so you want to be backed up by these well-renowned companies that will help you if you have an issue. I did recommend Flow Pro, and I've heard that brand before, so if you guys are looking at exhaust, it's probably a pretty good brand to go with. And I still have the well down on the truck. As you can see, it is hooked up now. I did paint it black. So there's where the pipe turns up to the turbo where I just showed you. And then if you follow the pipe, it's fully painted. Clamps and everything. If you follow the pipe, goes all the way back behind the axle right there let me move up there's the exhaust continuing on go and all the way out five inch straight pipe here's one of the weld points right here had to be welded up pretty good job and I painted over it because that's definitely a corrosive spot eventually so that's it man, the 5 inch straight pipe on the truck, and trust me, it sounds amazing. So even from the underneath of the truck and here, I coated everything one more time. I'm about to put this wheel well back onto the truck. There we go, now I just gotta tighten these bolts up. guys just got back in the truck just went to the post office shipped it out got the receipt so now heading on our way got to take care of these tires real quick and uh yeah definitely getting some stuff done today oh yeah this is also going to be a complete new shop so let's go oh yes mechanicsburg i remember waiting around here getting to get my truck finished up and we got some trucks over here for sale but yeah i went to a place that used to be right there but apparently they moved to a bigger building because they upgraded, so that must mean they do good work. Hey man, what? 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 Cummins. There we go, Firestone. Get yourself a pair of Firestone tires and do truck stuff. That's where I'm about to take these at. That's what I'm dealing with right now. Probably gonna have to wait it out. We finally disposed of those tires, and I wasn't charged at all because I was going to use a credit card, but apparently they would have to write everything up again, so it wasn't worth it. But yeah, if they said I had to bring cash, I would have brought in cash. I just didn't know. I didn't. I don't usually carry cash, so oh well. Guess they're gone now. Thanks to them. Great tire place, Firestone. Firestone tires. And we are back just like that. Just bought a pile of rugs and a binder. Man, but we got her done. Rain has finally stopped and it's starting to cool off. I'm glad that it's not hot and humid and all that. So let's go. Figured I'd have to travel pretty far to get all this stuff, but no, we're good to go. Got some stuff ordering up tonight for the trucks. So I can't wait for that stuff to come in, but obviously I gotta make the order. So yeah, I could have checked for more stuff here, but oh well, time to leave. I'm thinking about stock. Okay then, I'm thinking about stocking up on a huge order of oil, oil filters, fuel filters, basically all the fluids and filters that I would need for these trucks. It'd be cool to just stock up on it so then I don't have to worry about it to the maintenance myself. No, I don't show it, but maintenance was done on the Ram recently. Oil change, oil filter, fuel filter. Now the stuff is in a, it's not the cheapest stuff for diesel or just trucks in general. You can get a free, free oil coupons, for oil change coupons for trucks and stuff and it'll say exclude pickup trucks right on it because it's a lot more expensive it takes a lot more quartz and bigger filters and special filters for these trucks not even diesel it's gas as well oh yeah it's hitting me now that we finally got rid of those dang old tires the more i looked at them the more i saw cracks and uneven tread and just just uh just terrible terrible condition tires i mean when i got them they were you can see manufactured in 2013 and i think i bought them back in 2016 so yeah they were already old to begin with so yeah touching the road saw for the next couple years not a good idea 
Ah, oh, yes, just drink some Chevrolet water, driving my Chevrolet truck, and look at that free car wash. Perfect. Just kidding about that, by the way. I took trucking for free car wash, and it just broke off the front thing on the, the, the bug deflector that used to be on this truck. And damn, I 